So we have to distinguish between these two cases. So we're going to say, um, we're going to have a flag. Instead of, so we're going to say, if the flag is zero, then it's uncompressed. And if it's one, then it's PL. So you can imagine that if we're just starting out, there's nothing in the history to begin with. So therefore, whatever the initial symbols are, we must encode them uncompressed. So in fact, our compressed words will look like this. They'll look like either F, U for the uncompressed version, or F, E, L for the compressed version. I'll just give you a quick example to illustrate how this works. The reason, by the way, we don't necessarily need a finite history. The reason why we're doing, why we're using a finite history, um, you could look as far back as you like. The reason why we're using a finite history is to make the complexity reasonable. So that's a, that's a practicality constraint. Um, there's no reason in principle why you couldn't look all the way back to the very beginning. So let's say I want to compress the following sequence. Let's let W equals 4. And let's compress A, B, B, A. Remember, this is a binary sequence. B, with symbols A and B. A, B, 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 A, B, B, A, B, 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 A, A. That'll be enough to get my point across. So when we start out, start out with i equals 1. There's no history, so there's nothing in history to indicate. Um, there's nothing in history to compare to. So uh, there's no matching subsequence. So we transmit uncompressed, and we send 0a. Now we're looking here. Um, the only thing we have in history is A, which is not B, so therefore we have to send 0B. Now we're here. Um, I have B. My history consists of AB. And I have B. Okay, so for K equals 1, I do have a matching subsequence, that's B right here. Uh, for k equals 2, I have ba, which doesn't match anything in the history. So therefore, um, my k is 1. And the location is um, my location is 2. If I call this position 1, position 2, and so on. My location is 2 and a length of 1. So my flag is I'm compressing. My location is 2. Excuse me, my position is 2 and my length is 1. Now I have my history is ABB. I have an A which I can find here. I have an AB which I can find here. I have an ABB, which I can find here. So I can compress that with yes, one one three. Inside the window, I see. 
Actually, I might have made a mistake on exactly what the location is, but this is the basic idea of what's going on. Anyway, and so you can continue like this. And this, this is the form of the encoded sequence. Now, of course, you would have to um, be careful to encode these uh, encoded versions in a binary way uh, so that they're both efficient and unambiguous, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the analysis for next time and talk about that on Thursday. Any questions? So basically, it's just a recursive. It's recursive. So you start by building a dictionary. This is basically the dictionary. And then you look through the dictionary to find subsequences that you want. OK, we'll see you on Thursday. <laughs>